Hey everyone, this is Jonathan, and today I'm going to talk about how to repair broken zippers on surfboard bags as well as stand up paddleboard bags using the fix and zip. Um, I've got my 6'3 board bag here, but this is going to be good for uh, short board bags as well as long board bags because the zippers are pretty consistent regardless of the size of the bag. Uh, let's start by talking about why the zippers typically break. A lot of times zippers fail because the original zipper slider goes bad. That's the thing that goes up and down connecting the teeth on the zipper. Now you might zip it up and maybe the teeth come undone behind it, or you try pulling on it and it's stuck in place, or sometimes, especially with plastic zippers, the piece comes off completely. Now normally to repair this issue, you would have to unstitch the zipper track and sew a new one in. But if you've got one of our fixin' zips, all you have to do is install it onto the existing zipper track. There's no tools or sewing required. The Fix and Zip does come in three sizes, small, medium, large, and we typically recommend the Fix and Zip size large for board bags. Uh, this particular bag has those chunky plastic teeth, but the Fix and Zip will also work on those nylon coil zippers. Um, so you don't have to have a special one, the Fix and Zip will work on both of them. Let's take a look at how we install it. All right, to install the Fix and Zip, you're just gonna loosen this thumb screw here on the top so that these sides can open up. And that allows us to put it right onto the existing zipper track. So go to the first row of zipper teeth and fit it over. Then you're gonna take the second row of zipper teeth and slide it in and just start tightening down that thumb screw. It doesn't have to be perfect. Once you've got the thumb screw tightened down, take a look at it and you'll notice that the teeth aren't all the way and they're just kind of resting on top. And what I like to do, this is a little cheat of mine. I put my finger underneath my thumb on the top and I just squeeze and pull about oh, a quarter inch or so. That just gets the teeth uh, smashed together and started and then I'm gonna tighten down that thumb screw a little bit more now that there's more room inside. And if it doesn't zip smoothly just loosen it up a little bit. Just like that fix and zip is back up and running. <laughs> now I started it in the middle of the track but most likely what you want to do is go back as far to the beginning of the zipper as possible. And if you can't get all the way to the beginning, just start it as close as you can, put it down into place, push it back, tighten it down, just like that. Now your zipper might also have these nylon coils. I'm giving you an example on the plastic teeth, but it's pretty much the same installation. Take the fix and zip off here. And the same one that works on these plastic teeth will work on these nylon coils. So just loosen the thumb screw there on the top so the sides open. Put run one row of teeth in there. Put the second row of teeth in. And again, it's not completely over both rows, but that's okay. We're just gonna kinda try to jam it in place. Tighten that thumb screw down. And again, I'm just gonna stick my finger underneath, my thumb on the top, squeeze it a little bit. You can see the zipper just got started. Tighten down the thumb screw a little bit more. There's a little bit of space at the beginning, no problem. Just push it all the way back to the start. Just like that, zipper's back up and running. For more tips on how to install the Fix and Zip, check out our YouTube channel. And for more information on the product, including how to get one, go to fixandzip.com. Thanks.